Let me see, maybe if I just... Ah, uh, no, away. yeah, it's... I, I was... want to stand on top of you again, that was really cool! Slide you down, I don't know why. Do we have an angled hitbox, like a triangle? That would be weird. I, I don't think so, as far as I saw, they have, like, box shape. That's all I saw. Ah! Yes! Kinda. What? No! <laughs> Stop doing that! <laughs> Stop that! <laughs> I know it's not as fast as the other one, but it'll oh do. Oh uh, I'm the first to do it! <laughs> oh no. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a new video and I apologize for my late video. Um, I'm working on a new game as a concept artist. Some of you guys may or may not know, but yeah, I was really busy. Uh, if you want to know about more of the game, um, here is a concept art. This is a Utah Raptor and if you want to know more, I will link it up. <laughs> I'll leave a link in the description below. Oh my god damn it. Alright, um everyone making <laughs> the new update uh for the game, but I don't wanna do that. I wanna make a U-turn and go a different direction, I guess. Today we have one of our favorite person, Miss Candle. Thank you for being here. Hey. Um so I want to talk about why there is so much drama going on about this game. If you guys know me, um, I mainly play a lot of game. Uh, none of them has like same issue, but only this game has so much drama. I'm not sure why. So in this video, we're going to try to talk about that. Also, we have some new update. Um, we're going to talk about that too. All right. So first of all, let's talk about uh, Dante. Um, he's the owner of the game, so let's talk about him first. So, Kendall, what do you think? Why why Dante is getting so much bad rap for for like, what he's doing right now? I mean, why? Why, why well, there is so much drama for him? Like, Yeah, uh, I guess we can definitely say it's the way he acts. Like, Dondi's not a child, yet he acts like a child for sure. Um, I know people who are in their teens and act more mature than him. And I know I'll probably get a lot of hate for saying that, <laughs> but at the same time, it's true. Like, if you pull it up, maybe post edit in the video, you can show the message that he sent uh, before the release of Averma talking about the release for content creators and getting it first. And he oh, yeah, basically yeah. called his community um, a pile of shit. That's what he basically wow. called his community. <laughs> um, and that's like, we all paid for the game. We all supported the game. That's why it's here today. And that's why he gets all the hate. Every time someone supports him, if they're not a content creator, if they don't support his every opinion, then they're just going to get put down by him and that's why people don't like Donny specifically. I don't think people have anything against um, the other con not content creators, uh, the other developers except for maybe Paradin. Yeah, um, could be, yeah. Other than that, I think most of the other developers overall are just doing their jobs. Um, I know some of them get hate just for the fact that the game isn't good and they end up getting blamed for that. Oh and yeah. That's not their fault um, entirely. Some of that is, to be honest, mostly Dondi's fault. He's the one that tells them what to do. They're just doing their jobs. <laughs> um, but overall, he's getting the heat because he created him himself. He <clears throat> acts all high and mighty and then expects <laughs> people to like oh it. Oh my and god. Yeah, we, we see that obviously doesn't work very well in society. Um, that's why we have, not civil wars, but, oh well, yeah, but that is why we have civil wars. Um, <laughs> people want a different leadership. That's basically why. You know, I, I, I went to the stream one time and I was like looking every comment and everyone like, we don't like Dondi, he talks shit. Like, if you go to his stream, you can see it by himself, for himself. He 
he talk like he owned the place. I don't know why. Is he like? I don't know. I feel like that how he talk. It's like a talking style or something. How he talk like that, you know? I feel um, like that. <laughs> it could be a persona that he gives off, and we obviously don't know a whole ton about his personal oh, history, yeah. so we have no idea what he's been through in the past. But still, everybody's responsible for their actions, and I don't want to give Dondi an excuse for acting the way that he has towards his community. Um, I personally have lost a lot of faith in the game for it being the dinosaur game out there. Um, and no, it's not because I'm creating my own game or I see other games that are very successful. It's just simply for the way Dondi has been acting towards his community since the start of the recode. And um, I don't mean the release, I mean when they started creating it. That's when it really started getting pretty toxic. Um, the only thing I kind of don't like that <clears throat> when you try to do something, you don't take vote like what people want. I mean, they are paying for the game, so you have to ask them what they want, right? Yeah, that, it's kind of uh, weird. I don't know why <laughs> why they do that. Yeah, Dondi, <laughs> the one thing he does, and I get this, it's his game. Like, I know he wants to do this, but at the same time, he does need to consider people. Like, um, example number one. Uh, people, and I know this is ridiculous, and I'm just going to use this as an example. So take me seriously here. <laughs> uh, Tarvasaurus. People <clears throat> wanted Tarvasaurus in the game battle. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, Dottie's wrong. It's, it's not really $7,000 for a new model. It might be to implement it into the game and everything. But honestly, he has the money. If he told of people I'm doing Tarvasaurus, money, and I need support, he has over 50,000 people in his Discord. If everybody donated a dollar, <clears throat> he would have more than enough to complete yeah. Tarvasaur. It's not the fact that he can't, it's the fact that he won't. He just doesn't want to do it. And that's because he doesn't exactly listen to what the people want. He wanted the game to be a certain way, and that's the way he's going to have it. And I think that's ultimately going to be the downfall of this game. Is because eventually people are going to realize that he isn't ever going to listen to the most important things and then they're going to leave because it's not the game they thought it would be. Um, do you know the game called Path Up Titan? Yeah, I do. Um, someone, someone told me that um, the admin who get fired or the mod who get fired fire from from uh, from the aisle they went there and they're making the game right now i'm not i'm not 100 percent sure if that is right um, so um yeah pretty close uh from my understanding the developer wasn't fired he chose to leave and oh, okay. just actually ditched the project um it wasn't a uh, guys i gotta go it was a uh, ditch the project because i hate dondi and <laughs> i'm gonna go make my own thing uh, but wow. some, it's not the only project he ditched. So he, at the same time he was working on the aisle, was also working on Azatec Project. It's not a very popular game, especially after he's left. But he also ditched them in order to make his own game. And unfortunately, oh, I, I feel it. like it's basically the aisle all over again. We have a developer who wants things his way and nobody else's and doesn't want to listen to what people say and it's snooty and unprofessional. Um, yeah, it's... <clears throat> literally a copy of the app with even the same <laughs> type of developer <laughs> um didn't they have some issue with uh based on Bermuda, i think i think like i'm not i'm not sure about that but um i was watching a video and um anthony was saying that one guy said that Isle is not good Isle is bad so dondi was saying hey uh, if you if you think that Isle is not good um, Al is bad then can you make it so that guy want to make like same game and he he went over there and uh, make the best of Bermuda as, as far as I know um, Do you know anything I'm about not, that? I'm not sure if that was Beast of Bermuda or Beast of 9500. I know they're very similar games um, <laughs> But Beast oh, yeah. of Bermuda has been out for a really long time actually compared to Beast of 9500 which is a relatively new game um, I don't know if that's the case for 
either of those two games. I'm not gonna speculate, but I will say that um, if it is Beast of 9500, that makes sense. Like, Beast of 9500 is literally the Isle. Yeah, like, but it's, um, it's the Isle. Beast of 95 is a Chinese game, right? Um, it's a Chinese. Yeah, it. It's like Chinese base, but it doesn't mean anybody else can't play it. Like you guys can play it and stuff. Oh, okay. It's just that um. Did you just throw up? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you made it sound like you did. No, um, I didn't. No, I'm good. <laughs> I was gonna say, Beast of 9500 and Beast of Bermuda are different because. Yeah, it's um, way different. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, <clears throat> I feel like the idea and the concept behind. Beast of Bermuda, although yeah, you are you can never get away from this, because the Isle became so popular and it was the base idea for old dinosaur games, yes, in some sense Beast of Bermuda is like the Isle, in another it's different, it has a different motive, it has a different backstory, and as far as I know, they tend to please their community, which is really what you want to look for in a game. And I think Beast of Bermuda basically just took advantage of the dinosaur pie and created a game um, just similar to it with their own touch. With their either their new models and their new map. Um, they didn't exactly add anything completely new to the game, except for maybe new mechanics. Um, which is fine, but I do think that games need to have new things added to them. We don't need, like... We don't need an extensive amount of purely survival dinosaur games. Oh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> uh, maybe a mystery dinosaur game. Oh, I mean, yeah. yeah. I know, the Isle is supposed to be a horror game, but let's be honest, guys. It's not a horror game. <laughs> People say it's a horror game because they get scared when somebody eats you. That's going to happen in any Rex, game. yeah. <laughs> Rex, I know that. <laughs> Even playing uh, first-person shooter games can't give you a jump when you get hit by a bomb or you get shot to death. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is, yeah. You're still gonna get that same jolt of adrenaline and the same kind as you would when you're running or fighting back as a dinosaur. Yeah, it's a different experience, obviously, because you're gonna have a different arsenal, but just think of it as a different weapon. You, If you're a T-Rex, you've got, like, a good weapon, and if you're a galley, well, you don't really have a good <laughs> weapon. Um, <laughs> you just run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's, it's the same concept, though. Like, it's it's not a horror game. It's not a horror I don't, game, yeah. I didn't see how Dottie would turn it into a horror game, even with hypos added. That's just basically a super dinosaur. It would be like giving someone an automatic handgun <laughs> with uh, the capacity of, well, the strength of a missile. I guess. From a plane. <laughs> like, that's basically what you're giving someone. And yeah, it's OP and all, but, like, that's not even, like, it's scary, but it's not, because you know you're going to die at that point. Yeah, if um. If you want to have horror, you need to create suspense, and that's something that the game failed on. We're going to talk about the hypo in the end, uh, so I don't want to talk about that right now. Okay, I, yeah, yeah. I, I really <laughs> have, I really have some cushion in my mind for hypo, and we're going to talk about it in the end. All right, let's talk about the owl community. I mean, I don't know. As as long as I was here, the owl was a terrible, terrible place to be. I mean, if you're new in the game, you don't care. It's, it's really good. If you join in a Discord server or if you're talking with someone in a group, kind of feel like weird. I know that a lot. Um, I was with some people actually. Some of them were really good, but some of them were really, really toxic. I'm not sure why. Do you have any experience about that? Like yeah. talking with toxic pe people? It merely happened. Yeah, I know that. It's true. Yeah, I was, um, I was around for the Owl's Peak. Well, what I assumed to be the Owl's Peak. I had the game since... Uh, pretty early 2018 um but i knew about it before then and i oh, watched okay. videos on it from before then as well from what i've seen from videos and my experience in the aisle when the aisle first started it had an amazing community uh not a ton of people were toxic and 
they were pretty friendly to each other. Of course, you had your trolls like every game does. But oh, yeah. That wasn't the norm. Um, but as time went on, I'd say late 2018 um, is when it started getting really toxic, like over the top toxic. Wow. And <laughs> I think part of the reason was that's just about when they started doing the new Rico. Uh, oh, okay. I, I don't know if that has anything to do, like, connection-wise with it, but I personally feel like Dondi felt this pressure to make the game not only better, but, like, he felt like he had more control over the game. He didn't expect to get a good start, is what I assume. Like, he's just like, I'm gonna make this game, see how it goes. <laughs> he got an amazing start, a lot of support, and that was at its peak. He saw it gaining a ton of potential. It did really like, good, I'm yeah, gonna... yeah. Yeah, he's like, I'm gonna make the game the way I want it now. And changed. And of course, he got a lot of uh, counter-arguments that people oh, yeah. want it to change. And I'm not like, this isn't just like, oh, we're gonna completely change it out. I'm talking about when he started adding, like, talking about things people didn't like. And I'm not saying what the old, um, the legacy version was. People yeah, okay. kind of like the legacy version. But uh, he would encounter some controversy, and in response to that, instead of taking a more professional turn on things, um, he got aggressive. And of course, um, we've seen it in our movies, we've heard it in our TV shows, assholes attract assholes. And <laughs> uh, <laughs> I have to say, when, like, you know, there's always that one person. I'm sure we've all had it. Someone started oh, yeah, talking of course. on purpose, <laughs> not for the sake of having conversation. Oh my lord! Yeah, I know that. <laughs> Just I was been imagine, there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Imagine a fifty thousand person argument. Think about it like that. Out of all the people that play the aisle. You just started the, the world's biggest argument, as far as I know, besides our obviously modern day politics, which we won't get into, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> overall, I I feel like it was almost purposeful that he started all these arguments, because he's obviously continuing it, even though he's like, yeah, you guys all the time give me hate, almost like, stop giving me hate, but then he continues <laughs> anyway. It's kind of to that point where he's encouraging the drama because he knows it's bringing him attention. Oh yeah, and yeah, you're right. it's <clears throat> the community is falling face first for it. All the trolls getting online, trying to ruin servers, people <laughs> taking joy out of other people being destroyed. It's it's basically a playground for all these toxic people. And at the same time, it's like a petri dish full of mold. It's a playground for all the bacteria. And it's not being taken care of. And it's not being thrown away. <laughs> and I'm not saying they have to be thrown away. Of course, yeah. <clears throat> and I know uh, this may also be super controversial, but I think the aisle would do a whole hell of a lot better if Dondi wasn't their lead developer. <laughs> I think it would be better if he was the one taking oh, orders yeah. and someone else was giving them. Um, and no, Hernan can't be the leader either because he has said an ass load of crap. Sorry, excuse my language. <laughs> um, <laughs> to like so, so many people defending Donnie when he was wrong against content creators. If any of you have seen um, Pesky's video on oh, yeah, yeah, why yeah. I saw that and, Pesky. Yeah, why he wasn't added as a content creator, it's bullshit. It's <clears throat> absolute bullshit. Like, because it really is. He said something wrong about the game, I think, right? Um, so basically what happened was, uh, do you remember, this is like really popular amongst the aisle. Uh, Dondi and a ton of other people on the dev team hate the Yankee and called it a quote-unquote bad animal. Oh, and okay. Pesky turned it around in his joking manner like he usually does and said it wasn't a bad animal. Like, it's not exactly a joking manner, like he's not wrong, it's not a bad animal. Yeah. But he makes all of his videos and, you know, little quirky jokes and stuff like that. And the developer is probably not even seeing the whole video and only a short clip of it. Basically started hating on him for having a different opinion about Enki. 
and that is the reason why he wasn't considered a content creator. Not because it wasn't enough subscribers, not because it wasn't enough views, or that he didn't ask, or anything like that, it was the fact that he had a different opinion. And I think that is a major problem. And this is where I am gonna say, although the community is toxic, they do stand up for what's right on occasion, and they did stand up for him, and said that's wrong, just because someone has a different opinion than you. But they don't always do this, and it's probably because he was a content creator that did save his butt. And I'm not saying that's wrong, it's just that there have been so many other times where <clears throat> Dondi has basically said, screw you if you don't like my opinion, and wow. haven't stood up for it. So... Yeah, I mean, when you make something, people are gonna say, hey, this is not right, this is wrong, you know? This has to be, like, if I make a game, then... People are gonna say, wait, this is not right. Or people are gonna say, yeah, this is really cool. So you have to have, to have something like this. I don't know why they're doing it right now when... If someone say, hey, the aisle is not bad. I mean, they're, they want yeah. the aisle make a really good game. They want that. This is why they're t telling them the aisle is not good. So fix it, right? Yeah. If something is wrong, just fix it. And I think something I definitely want to touch on as far as the community being considered toxic is the most recent drama amongst the community and the developers because people are mad. Not mad at the developers, per se, just upset at what they were given. We were supposed- if, I'm assuming all of you that have watched this have seen the Hope trailer. If not, go check it out so you know what I'm talking about. The Hope trailer was the trailer that the Isle did for the Rico. It looks oh, yeah, yeah. amazing. Looks amazing, like, yeah. Phenomenal. And honestly, that's what I'd expect after spending a year and a half on a game. But we come here and you can Almost see this two in years, the actually. video. <laughs> yeah, it's it's so different. Everything is different. It's not okay, that looks cool. Okay, that swamp exists. Like it kinda doesn't. The swamp area with the Suko, you don't see that. The Dino shot. Well, obviously Dino's not in the game yet, but it was supposed to be a hypo killer. I've seen the Dino. A small Tenanto child runs faster than it. Oh a yeah. A full grown Tenanto is bigger than it. That's not a hypo killer. If anything, it's a Juvie Utah killer. Like, it's nothing. And the Pteranon, I've seen that too. That thing is as tall as almost a fresh spawn Tenanto. Wow. <laughs> a full grown adult. It's. <laughs> It's not accurate to size or anything. It's not what we were supposed to be given. And people are mad because they promised so much and they returned so little. If anything, it's on my scale, 20 times worse than the legacy version. And the only reason why is because, although yeah, what they were using for the legacy version was gonna be really hard to fix to do what they wanted, but what the community wanted would not have been that hard. Oh, add yeah. some games, fix, like, add some dinosaurs to the game, fix some bugs. That's all I needed to do to keep people happy. Yes, and we yes. went a year and a half without anything. Without a single update. Fixing bugs, nothing. So it's, the image they're portraying is that we worked super hard. You should appreciate us <laughs> when, in fact, if you have the tiniest bit of knowledge of how games are run, and how programming is done, you know, it's not, it's not like that. If they were really spending 24-7 like they claim, and then of course, they haven't been claiming that recently. After people started complaining, you've noticed, they'll be like, no, we were taking off, and this person taking off, and this person doesn't specialize in that. But when you have 20 plus devs, and you have a year and a half, you can do so much. Oh yeah. So yeah. much. And they didn't do almost anything. Also, and that's we why just are upset. we just get only two dinosaur right now after spanning like one and a half year, almost two year actually, if I say, almost two year, and we are just getting only two dinosaur, Utah and Tenanto. What the hell? Yeah. Where is the Rex? Where is the Spino? <laughs> yeah, where's our Dino? Where's our Flyer? Where is all these different things that we were expecting? Like nothing. For me, when I see a game come out, uh, specifically a game with characters in it that you can select, similar to this, I am looking for a few things. 
and one of them is diversity. And when I look at their diversity, four characters, that's okay. Six characters, that's good. That's what I'm looking for. But two? That's unacceptable for me. <laughs> I, like, I've played both the Utah and the Tanato in this game, and the Utah's crap. Absolute crap. <laughs> um, it's not exactly, um, I mean, it's a custom model, of course, but you look at it, it's basically a hybrid between the old Utah model, if any of you have seen it, and the new, well, one from the Legacy version. It's just a hybrid, so it didn't really take that much creativity, I'd say. And then we have our coals, right? Mm -hmm. Half the coals are reused. And yeah, they're not all from Utah. Some of the baby coals are from the baby T-Rex and oh, yeah. other things. But, like, they're so reused. Um, even some of the Tanantu coals are reused. I don't know if you noticed it, but when the Tanantu goes to eat, we make a parasaur sound. The one that the parasaur does while sniffing, if any of you have noticed that. Oh, okay. It's the same sounds. None of these sounds are exactly, you know... They all have some scrapped parts in them. And obviously people say, oh, the Utah one calls different because it has a trail at the end. But the <laughs> beginning's exactly the same and it's like they put a, a muffler on it. Like, I'm not talking like the ones you put on cards. Like, <laughs> something to make it sound like you put your hand over its mouth. Like, it's not it's not better, it's worse. It really is. And that's why I only play Tanato in the game. Simply for the fact that out of all the creatures, it's the new one. And I don't have any expectations for it. For that one, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that's why I play it. Because the um, Utah, I can't play it without feeling, you know, odd. You know, I, I kind of feel like I like the older Utah better than the new one. Like, you saw how how the Utah was right now, right? I, I, don't, I don't know yeah. why. I don't like it, actually. I like the older Utah better than this one. Yeah, the older Utah is definitely better. Yeah, it's slower. And... That's another thing, guys. Okay, I know this is going into the realm of the game itself and not the community <laughs> at this point, but I do want to touch on this one point since we're already on the subject. The Utah speed and the Tanato speed are nothing. We all know how big this map is. And to be honest, the map isn't actually any bigger if you're faster, if you think about it that way. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they claim that the map is bigger. They claim that all this stuff is gonna happen and unless they scale down the speed of the dinosaurs it's not gonna matter because if utah's run four times faster than they did before they'll still get to destination the destination well in the same time it oh, doesn't yeah. really matter so if the perk about utah's being super fast is gone and all you have are a new model which the model's okay i'm not gonna complain about that it looks okay but the calls they're worse. Uh, the eating animation, a lot of people love it. I kind of hate it. I really don't like it. It <laughs> looks like it's trying to pick up a rock, and I'm like, it, it's meat, guys. Like, if any of you have ever ribs before, I'm sure you don't struggle that hard while eating. <laughs> also, the smell, they actually changed that too. Oh, yes. Oh, my word. Well, I'm not sure if you want to save that for um, a different question. No, it's fine. Not. It's fine. <laughs> but, all right. Can well, go then I'll go into depth the smell. Um, I mean, if you smell, it's like... I don't know, I feel it, like it's kind of hard right now to smell something. It's easy to smell water, because the bodies of water are big. But when you try to smell food, like, I don't know if you're showing them the, the video if you just smelled... Um, yeah, this, the food is right here. I can't even smell this, this thing. Know, wow. You, if you're close to something, you can't smell it. It's unless it's footprints. You can't smell bushes. You can't smell. Um, it's way, water way harder if you're actually. Close to it. And it's not because of the low graphics. It, it's not. And that's a really big problem with the game. The smell was supposed to be cool and better. And it's just not. It, it's just not. The water works okay. The footprints look the same. And. Oh, I'm gonna bomb it. The smelling <laughs> for herbivores is crap. It, it's just crap. I almost starved on multitude of occasion with a bush literally feet away from me because I couldn't smell it. Oh, yes, yes. I had the same thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and, do, you, do you think that I'll being 
a little bit toxic because of this is a PvP game. Like, if you grow a dinosaur for a long time and you just get killed, I mean, if I am like you, I should, I should go mad, right? I mean, I grew a dinosaur for five hours and then someone just came here and killed me, like, like, like you know the um, the Utah fight that we had. Utah can yeah. kill a full-grown Rex. I mean. Yeah, it can because of broken hitboxes and other broken things within the game. And I think, how do we put it? That's just a flaw in the game and people get sulky about it. It happens in every game. I just think it's particularly toxic looking for the fact that Donnie basically encouraged toxicity and then all the toxic people are the ones that are upset after growing it. I don't know, I feel like when, uh, this game is PvP, so people get mad when they get killed. I mean, you have to understand this is a game and you're gonna die one time. Yeah, exactly. It's gonna happen and there's nothing you can really do about it. Um, so, yeah, like, and how do I put it? I don't think the factor of it being PvP and people being toxic is really, like, it's not something to worry about, because it's going to be there whether it's a shooting PvP game or if it's a dinosaur PvP game. People are going to complain because now they lost all their stats or they lost all their guns or they lost five hours of progress on a dinosaur. Yeah, it's going to happen. Heck, I've complained. When I've gotten killed by something right <laughs> after growing, or gotten killed at something at 99%. Like, it's annoying. Yeah, it really is. But that's the, that's what happens in a PvP game. And I don't think it's that, per se, that brings the toxicity. It's the pre-existing toxic people. Because uh, back in the old days of the Isle, people would kill people for fun. And oh, yeah. part of the reason why was mostly because everything was like sandbox to start it was all sandbox so you could just come back then survival came along and it became harder and people would get upset but most of the time it wouldn't be a i hate you situation because the toxic people weren't really in the aisle and then with the legacy version the most updated one with the senyo map and everything uh that's when things really started going haywire after uh Dondi really um, encouraged all the toxic players to come and play on the aisle instead of discouraging it. And that's when things got heated. And that's when I believe most of the drama of, of servers uh, really started. Like, people would open a server and other people would spread rumors about it and everybody would believe it. And that's because everybody likes trolling and everybody likes, and I'm not saying like generally everybody, just all the all the toxic people like it. Yeah. They like to take other people down. It's what they do for a living. <laughs> so. Okay, um, let me let me say something here. Okay, so you were saying that um, shooting game, PvP, and this is this PvP is same, right? Yes. But uh, you have to understand that when we are playing shooting game, PvP, you have one match with someone, you died, they died, the match is fine. The match is done. You're not gonna see that guy again anytime but this is a game that has community in it this is a game um, this is a game when you have um, server in it so if you kill me I know your name and next time when I see you I'm gonna kill you too so this is going on here I saw that I saw that people are targeting other because they get killed well, I have a prime example for you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, are you a part of the CSGO community? No. <laughs> mm. One of the most toxic online shooter games. For the exact reason that you just said. You will see people again. And you oh, will really? want to kill them. Yes. Wow. Um, it, I personally do not play the online version. And I only play with my friends when I play the game. Simply for that reason. The very first time I went online to CSGO, my friend recommended I get it. I didn't know that there was a private version. Oh, okay. And I went on to the online version, and I played with a 
someone who looked like they knew what they were doing, but I was playing like against them. Mm -hmm. And there was a chat. And he basically called me a bunch of names and all this <laughs> stuff. And it, oh my yeah. god, that was weird. And, yeah, I was totally new to the game. And I said hello. And that's what pissed him off. And <laughs> I, I don't play that version anymore. And that's because it's still more toxic than this is. And that's just because the community is unmanaged and unchecked. And yeah, that's gonna happen. And <laughs> I think the only reason why the owl hasn't turned to that way completely is for the fact that most server owners, and I say most, are good. Most of them are good server owners and they don't want toxicity. If there were only official servers, it would be just like CSGO. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that actually, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, but, you know, sometimes it happened with admin and admin. One admin said this, other admin said that. They just broke up and then you have two different server right now. It happened a lot of time, I saw that. Like admins are leaving their server, they're making a, um, a new one for their own. They're taking yep. people from the older one to the new one. It happened a lot, many times, I saw that. I mean, why are you doing this? Why are you taking people from your older server? Doesn't make any sense. Well, I can actually share on that a bit. Uh, <laughs> we had a similar situation with this server because um, right now we're playing in a new era, my server, and this server has quite a dramatic history behind it. Um, which this part I don't mind sharing at all. So we've had our fair share of partner servers in the past, uh, which I won't name their name because oh yeah yeah of well, course of course yeah we're obviously not partners anymore for a reason. Um, but our most recent server did this very classic example. The server owner claimed to own a multi-thousand person aisle server back uh, right before the aisle really got super popular. Multi-thousand? Wow! Yes. So he had thousands of people in his Discord. And he said okay. he sold the server to somebody else for money and stuff because something happened in life. And I, I believed him at first, although I shouldn't have lots of the people in this community lie and uh we decided to partner with them for their experience and they just we offered the people from our server to go and play on their server as in exchange it was more of a you help us build our server to a thousand plus people and at the moment because they had restarted their server and only had like 30 people in it and we had over 200 we would help get their player base started. That was the agreement. Oh, that well, is cool. As it went on, our ratio of people given and them helping us was a one to five for them. So for every five people that they got, we got one, which obviously was to be expected with them being a smaller server, but they wanted us to come to all their events. They wanted us to do all these things. And when we asked them to come to an event, they wouldn't and they turned up some red flag for us they didn't want to get involved in our community wow <laughs> they started to not help us and then i noticed they started to not care about their own aisle server oh, okay. and i could say things in general and they wouldn't notice and i was like okay they have some people and they were very irresponsible with their money that they were given they posted public private information in public um it wasn't a great situation and the last straw for me was when they violated one of the discord terms of service and they didn't seem to care and i was the one that reported it like i didn't report it to discord i reported it to the owner when i saw it and they took care of it but instead of banning the person like they should have they let the person stay with nothing more than a verbal warning nothing official just a verbal warning Wow, and okay. I was pissed. I was like, the Discord could ban them for this, and you're not even banning them from the server. You're not even kicking them from the server. You're giving them a verbal warning. Wow. And that was the last straw for me. I couldn't stand it, and so I stepped back and I told them the partnership was over. We weren't going to do the partnership anymore. <laughs> well, turns out, which I was a part of this at first, they had opened their chat server 
at the same time and they wanted their chat server to grow. This is when I found out that multi-thousand person aisle server they sold was never an aisle server. It was a chat server. Wait, what? They, uh, so, wait, what is their chat? Their expertise were fake. They didn't ever have the expertise. Oh, okay. A chat server would be like, um... A server, like a clan server almost, where they go and they play on a bunch of different um, aisle servers. Well, this would be a bigger scale version of that. A chat server is where you go and play in a ton of different games. Ah, oh, okay. They never owned an aisle server before. So the oh, really? they talked to us about, they were lying about. Wow. Just to become partners with us and take our people. And I was pissed. <laughs> well, Karma came their way and they claim that they would be reopening their aisle server with the release of a verma they never did <laughs> they only wanted people for their chat server which is slowly dying now and their aisle server they have an up like re like restarted it in over a month and nobody can access it so people are leaving from there too but we have we see this trend happen all the time. People taking from one server just to fuel another, or taking from even not their own server, but like other servers, like oh yeah yeah, to fuel their server. Which I asked everybody to leave that server um, that they were in. And no yeah, not of everybody did, but I don't support them in their decision to do it. It's very wrong, and it's just immoral to be honest. All right, um, we are kind of end of um, of this discussion. So, do you want to add something? Like, what do you think they should change right now? Like the update we get, what do you think we should uh, they should change? And what do you think they should add something or they should improve? Like the aisle overall. Yeah, right now, the stage right we have now, right now. The if the I aisle mean, should do anything. Are you happy know. with this? Are you happy with this hour right now? <laughs> Wait, no. Yes. No. <laughs> I am not happy with this. Oh this is God. the product that I would expect after six months of hard work with 20 plus devs and no improvement on anything else. Like, this is their full time job. 20 plus devs. I would expect this after six months. A year and a half? I would expect a game better than the legacy version. And we clearly don't have that. Like, you can see, as we're sitting here, if you're recording the, um, the game as well. Yeah. What we're doing in game, right now, yeah, we're talking and we're having a conversation. No, this is literally what we do the whole time. <laughs> the only difference between oh Tenanto <laughs> and Utah is that Tenanto has its own AI, aka Grass. So they can sit and eat and drink. Oh yeah, they also and have their own AI. Thing. This is a bigger problem actually for me. Yeah, but the carnivores, the only thing they do is um, walk, drink, and hunt. And the carnivore is unplayable on empty servers. Unplayable. You have oh yeah, to no AI. Yeah. So in a sense, yes, there are two dinosaurs first release. But in reality, there's technically only one because one is unplayable. And that's because of the AI. Yeah, they hired their AI guy like oh two weeks ago but really dondi really dondi you didn't think ai was going to be a problem and it's not like it was oh this person is busy working on something else you just hired him you could have hired him a month ago and had your ai perfected and they didn't they just did it and it's because they don't care about their player base they see their players as lower than humans in my eyes. They see their content creators as gods, and uh, the <laughs> devs are uh, above all, of course. But um, I just don't... I don't see the Isle caring about its community anymore. Like, the developers do, caring about the community. Um, didn't they have a new map, like, when when they're talking about uh, the game, uh, the record, they were talking about a new game, like, really bigger, then they told us that that game is not, like, that game was too big, then they, we're not gonna have it. Something like that, right? Something, um, Donnie changed his mind about how the game was gonna work. 
like part way through. Was it like Isla it Spider or something? So, something like that. Something called this like is that. Isla, uh, Spiro. Oh, this is Isla Spiro. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> um, I've heard rumors. I don't know if this is true. I haven't seen officially released by the devs. So don't take my word for this. But I've heard that this is not the end map. Like the official end map. They're going to change it. Uh, that's hmm. what I've heard so far. So yeah, even though we can't access the whole map right now, I know you can't see it from where we're sitting, but there is a wall on the map. Even after the rest of the map is released to us, they were going to change the map again. From oh, okay. Um, which is a good and a bad thing, because for all we know, that could take another year and a half. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I guess uh, if you don't mind while I'm here, I should say this. I've heard a couple major complaints, and I have my own to add. Um, yeah, sure. Major complaint about the map number one is the dense forest. I uh, maybe uh, before you end the video, you and I should go run through a dense forest so people can see that the only thing you see yeah, is sure. trees and bushes. So um, I think there's a forest this way. When we run through the forest, we don't see our dinosaur anymore. Like, even if we just run through here, you could see, like, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in our way. Also, be careful, those bee trees are broken. Uh, that's oh, yeah. Hey, <laughs> you cannot just get stuck in them. You can't run through the middle of them. But, basically, we can't see our dinosaur. And, yeah, a couple of them on the map, like a couple of dense forests would be cool. But, and this isn't dense forest, by It's the way. too dark, I it's think. Stupid. Yeah, it, it's too dark. Um, like, okay, this is kinda dense, but this is not the densest. Place. Yeah, um, I don't think I want to get lost, though. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Um, I have our coordinates saved anyway. But, um... Oh, here, this might be our dense forest back here. Right here. In the back. But, basically, they made too many of these. And, yeah, the map is four times bigger, but this is where my problem lies. Too many trees, yeah. Too many trees makes the map unplayable. There you go, that's a pretty good example of what happens if you follow the path that I just did. Um, uh -oh. It's too dense, and I'm going even in the most open spots right now. Um, yeah, where we're standing, I know you see a lot of fields, you're like, Hey, Kendall, that's more fields than this. <laughs> but no, no. Th this is like the most open you get. Like, what you see right here, um, and if... If you I think I lost you. Out, I think I lost you. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so if hard to come, find someone, actually. I know, because they don't even have groups or settings yet, which is also crap. But this <laughs> is basically as open as it gets. Which, okay, that's fine. But the dense trees are everywhere. If you look at the mountains from here, um, well, you probably have better graphics than me. You'll see it's mostly, um, it's mostly trees. And the brown part that you see there, mm -hmm. that's rock that you can't even climb up. So oh, okay. it's, it's unplayable. It's really unplayable unless you're going to be down here by the swamp. The swamp is the best place to be for any dinosaur. Everything else is too dense. You can't really do anything. And overall, the map just needs a big overhaul. Like... If they remove uh, uh, a ton of the tree patches and just put some like light trees, like just lightly sparse trees around the map, mm -hmm. that'd be great. Um, but they just have so many only dense forests or mostly dense forests. There's no slightly open forest and then just fields. They don't have a ton of biomes. There's not a ton of diversity. There's no dry area. It's, it's either grass or dense forest. Um, also, also one thing I had problem with, like, I really love Isle. I'm, I'm sure other people also do that. They actually make a completely new game, completely different than the older game. Like, if I want to play a new game, I'm just gonna play a new game. I don't have to play the Isle. We played the Isle because we loved the Isle. We loved how the system was. Exactly. But for me right now, they changed the whole thing. I kind of miss the old owl right now, actually. I miss the old thing, actually, right now. But yeah, I know why they, they just changed the whole thing, completely changed. Nothing is safe. The only reason why that I know that they changed the whole game, which, by the way, this is an excuse for what they did, and I can explain that in a minute, 
is because the base code that they had, uh, they couldn't work with. Because, you know the developer that I talked about that left mm -hmm. uh, the Isle and Astro Tech Project? Mm -hmm. He did their base code. And without him, they can't change it. Oh, so, okay. That's why they decided to redo it. Which makes sense and all. I understand that. I would have agreed with them on that decision. My problem is when instead of just redoing the base code, which by the way wouldn't like it, it takes a while to make base code. Don't get me wrong, it does. But it wouldn't have taken them this long. Um, if it if they just redone the base code and re put in the old models and the sounds and the map, not only if we had had a game faster, but they literally just could have kept improving on what they already had. Oh yeah. And they didn't do that. They decided they wanted to make a new game. And that's where <laughs> they went wrong. They went wrong in thinking that we wanted a new game. And well, maybe they didn't think that. Maybe it's just what Dondi wanted. But there's some things that are better. Like if we look up into the sky now, you can see the beautiful sun rays. That's great. I actually really like that much. Um, and some of the trees look better. I mean, besides the fact that we can only render them at 60% for the whole game because of the memory leak. But, <laughs> it looks cool. Um, of course, I mean, all games do this, so I'm not going to criticize the game for it. It's just kind of funny that they didn't mention it at all, or people haven't seen it before. But, if you look at the long grass in front of us, not the one I'm eating, the bigger stuff. Yeah, it's um, right here. That's a free Unreal asset. And, not everybody knows it, but I've done my fair share of looking around at Unreal and... I downloaded this asset for my game because <laughs> I, as a low budget project, it looks good. And obviously, oh I've yeah, seen it of course. Here. But at the same time, I thought we were supposed to get something unique from the app. And I'm not saying it's wrong to use free assets because obviously I'm using them. I'm just saying when you tell people you're gonna have the best game and the most unique game, oh my god, I expect like... to get the best product. And uh, the free product is it's always the best. And I've seen better on Unreal. So I'm a little bit <laughs> Um also one thing I don't like. Why they had to make the hypo actually? What what reason was that they made some dinosaur that no one is gonna play? My idea or my theory really, because they don't really tell you. The, the devs never really tell you why they made the hypo. It's just assumed by everything, like everything they say. To cover their butts, they say something and then contradict it. So we never <laughs> truly know. But if we think about it, the idea was to make it a horror game at first. And hypos were in the game long before um, I ever started playing the game. When they were back in sandbox mode when you could play them. And they were cool. Oh, really? And they were really OP. Yeah, oh, I didn't know that. Could, yeah, you could play Hypo Rex, like that was the hot thing. When it came out, I think that's when the game really started getting its big boom. But they basically got a real big boost from having Hypos in the game, and maybe that's why they made more. But I think the main reason was it was supposed to be the horror of what the humans had created, and that's why they made the Hypos, so they could be there, and maybe eventually you would be able to play them too. I know the system that's rumored to come around now, and I think it's actually um, stated by the devs, so um, this might not be a rumor anymore, is that you'll be able to walk by a plant, and if you touch it, which it'll randomly spawn on the map, you'll become a hypo of your species. Oh, really? That is the worst idea in the game. <laughs> I hate that idea so much that on my server, I'm oh, my sorry, goodness, like anybody who plays on my server and that actually happens, if they're not injectable, you're losing your hypo. I'm sorry, you'll get to play it for five minutes and then you lose it. Because not only are hypos OP, and yeah, I'm gonna let you play as it. You found the plant, great. But it's a bad idea. It's just such a bad idea that I hate it so much. I think I knew that something. I'm really hoping that's not the case. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I why we have hypo? We can't even play it, you know? I mean, like, that is weird. Hypos are cool. But there's no point to them. Because the story changed, there's no point to hypos. Oh my like, god. <laughs> and I know, I might seem like super, like I'm criticizing the game a lot. And yes, it's due to part of the questions, of course, by like, what do you think is wrong? But there's yeah, nothing yeah, yeah. wrong with those questions. It's just that's the type of questions that are being asked. But at the same time, the other thing that I find is 
Uh oh. Hey, Blue. What up? You wanna come to me? Show your viewers what's wrong with these trees. I just got stuck in one of the trees. Uh oh. Can he Here, call? I'll bring... Yeah, I'll, I'll call. So, um. Uh... <laughs> you would have stuck. So, oh, you see no. this guy? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not standing here. Look, I'm gonna start walking. I am stuck in this tree. Um, yes, that's a glitch with these trees. So if you play a Verma, watch out for it. Um, I'm gonna thankfully Blue is in game, and I can go to Blue to get myself out of this tree. <laughs> um, but if Blue wasn't here, because admin commands are also broken, which I can talk about in a what? minute. Uh, I, I took damage. Oh no! I need, I need water. Hold on. I need water. No, 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 no. I'm dying. <laughs> Do you want me to just heal? Hey, yeah, sure. Why not? Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> oh, thank you, you. Yeah, no problem. But basically, this is another problem with the game. I think. The main thing with the game, if we set aside Donnie's attitude, if we set aside the developer's negligence and childlike behavior, the toxicity of the game, and I know this is a big list, um, <laughs> the, <laughs> the pointlessness of the recode, if there's anything that sums up the game as well as this, it would be Donnie wanted to make the game too realistic. He did. You know, realism is not fun to play because, well, we already have it in real life. <laughs> no one would want a game where you go to school for literally six hours on the computer. I'm not joking, like, for the game, you go to school for six hours. Then, after that, you get bullied in the game. And then, you don't have any lunch money, so your character's starving, and you have to go home, and you eat, like, it's... No one would want to play that game. It's yeah, of too course. too realistic. Yeah. And that's... Donnie wanted a realistic game, and I get it. He's one of those people who likes realism. I like realism to a degree, but it's got to be fun. And of course, Donnie yeah. basically made it where you eat too much, by what percent you throw up. It's not only not oh, realistic, yes. yeah. <laughs> although he's going for realism there. I had the it's same annoying. thing, yeah. I just ate a little bit too tiny bit, and I just threw up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, yeah, no, that's unrealistic. Like, the jump for Tenanto looks cool. And obviously, it's supposed to add some realism to the game, but it's not realistic. Like, the problem is, not only is he trying to make it realistic, he's failing. Like, all these things that he's doing to make it realistic. The pounce, not realistic. The damage, not realistic, but supposed to be realistic. Like, I'm- at the moment, I don't know if I want a game that's supposed to be realistic and isn't- <laughs> Or I- a game that isn't supposed to be realistic with flaws. Like, I don't- I don't know what I'm going for here. Because, like, at the same time, I just want a fun game. I want a fun dinosaur game where I can run around and I can throw and I can get that adrenaline boost from someone chasing me or me chasing someone else. That's- that's the point of a game. Your point of a game is to get your adrenaline boost and to have fun. I'm not having this here. I don't play on any other server except for the server for that reason. I don't have any fun if I can't heal myself so I don't have to worry about food and water because that's literally all you do in the game. I've run almost the entire map that's available and I, <laughs> over the course of like two days, I uh, almost know where the water sources are on the map, like every water source are for this section that's available to us. And I've only been out for like two days because that's all you can do. Um, <laughs> do you think how long it gonna take them to fix the whole game? Like, how long it gonna take? One, I don't think an one official, year? Well, I don't think an official date or time frame is released. They did say um, that they'll be releasing new dinosaurs every two to four weeks, which is oh, great. Okay, that is good, yeah. But I don't really trust them. <laughs> like, oh my god, yeah. <laughs> six months ago. They said that the recode was going to come out. Six months ago. That was after a whole year. And they never did. The thing about that is, it's basically, okay, a third of the entire time it took them to do it. It's why. So if it takes them a month, it's really going to take them a month and a half for every dinosaur. And that's a little slow. I would be extremely happy and actually have some faith in the aisle if they did it every two weeks. 
Also, do you think that they actually changed every model in the game? I don't think so, no. right? So, if any of you have ever seen the old Allosaurus model from the uh, the original Isle before it changed uh, to the Legacy version. Oh, okay. And you, you know how it holds its head pretty high and it has that little frilled dress and it has longer arms. Oh, yeah. Well, if any of you have seen the dev stream where they worked on Model of the Source, you'll immediately recognize the only difference is a crest. It's literally the same dinosaur. I know people say, no, it's not. You see the hands? They're held different. I'm like, how hard is that? How hard is it to move the hands for? Like, we see the Allosaurus do it for an animation. It can't be that hard to have it as its normal position. Like, I'm no 3D modelist, so you <laughs> guys can totally correct me if I'm wrong, but the model just basically looks the same. And it looks like it's just been edited to have a crest and maybe a slightly longer tail. That's Good it. Yeah. I do not see the difference. And obviously, yeah, reuse, recycle, but don't, please, do not call it a new model. Call it reused. Call it recycled. <laughs> call it a custom model. I don't care. Don't call it a new model. Uh, anyway, um, I think it was so long, actually. Mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah, yeah um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure how long it's gonna take them, uh, to finish the game, but we actually do want, uh, to them to finish the game. This is why we're talking it. It's not like we hate mm -hmm. the aisle. It's not, we really love the aisle. We actually do. This is why we are still playing the game. Uh, yes. But they need to change something. They need to change themselves too. Don't they need to change them, themselves too? I mean, criticism is not a bad thing, but sometimes people can take it wrong way. It's, it's not a bad thing. If someone say to you, "Hey, you are doing something wrong," it's not wrong. I mean, if if you do something wrong, if someone can fix you, it's good. It's really good for you. So I think the aisle, they should change everything they should fix the bug that we are having right now there is so so many bugs i know that <laughs> i played this game for like maybe two two days right now but i saw so many bugs here and i don't think i like this game i like the older one the older one was really fun i know that i don't love that thing <laughs> right now i want to go back actually right now if i can i want to go back <laughs> yeah see if if there's one thing that is, I think, left for me to say, it's... I have hope that the Isle will be a good game. It's not that I don't. It's not that I'm hating on the game. You can see I'm even in here playing it. If I absolutely hated it and boycotted it, I wouldn't be here. But, for me, if I don't see a new dinosaur in six months, I'm gonna leave. I don't... <laughs> I'm not gonna wait. I'm not gonna wait that long for a new dinosaur. At that point, it's pointless. I'd rather focus on another game, spend 20 bucks getting Beast of Bermuda. I really don't care, it's just that I only have so much patience left, and... Everyone has, actually. Everyone has right now. Yeah, a year and a half was just too long. We'll put it that way. It was just too long for this kind of result. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I would have actually understood if the game was really good, and heck, I might have uh, wanted to support the game even more. It's just that I don't right now. And yeah, the devs get on my nerves. And I'm sure they get on everybody's nerves. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, we wanted that good dinosaur game. That's what everybody wants. Of course, we want a dinosaur good dinosaur game. game. That's all we want. We don't need the drama. It's the dinosaur game. Someone actually... um. Someone told me that, um, or they, they actually posted it, that why people are hating dabs when they're making a new game. I was like, who asked for a new game? We want the same old game, just we want without any bug, without any problem. That's all I want. We don't need the old, uh, the new game. We just want the old game. That's all we want. <laughs> yeah. Oh my lord. Yeah. We appreciate your hard work, however much of course we, we do, yeah. put in to get this product, but <laughs> we didn't want it. I'm sorry, we didn't want it. 
It's like asking the chocolate factory man to give you a milk chocolate bar and he gives you white instead. You know, <laughs> I, I didn't want that. <laughs> and oh my god! And he's like, oh, but I gave you chocolate. Like, yeah, it, it's yeah, we didn't chocolate, want that, but it's not the type. And we obviously ordered a specific type. So. <laughs> Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you do, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, and thank you, you know, for being here, talk with me. Um, no problem. You know, it it was a long talk, but that's fine. That's okay. <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.